Portions of this video were filmed prior to the COVID-19 pandemic and do not reflect the safety measures that are now in place for Trident Technical College students and employees. The South Carolina Aeronautical Training Center at Trident Technical College is transforming how education and industry work together in the regional, national, and global economies. The South Carolina Aeronautical Training Center is just one of a kind. It has a lot of opportunity to grow. It really gives us an opportunity for our students to train on some really nice equipment. It is real hands-on training. It offers them the initial interface with the kind of equipment that we're actually producing our vehicles with. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We have uh, excellent instructors hands-on training. So with this building, we have set ourselves apart from anyone in this area. This 218,000 square foot building houses programs that lead to associate degrees and certificates, including aeronautical studies, manufacturing, and engineering technology. On the first floor are two engineering technology labs. The Hydraulics and Pneumatics Lab houses the Hydraulics and Pneumatics Training Systems. Across the hall is the Automation and Mechatronics Lab with a 10-station automation system and robotics trainers. This is one of our new Mechatronics Training Systems. It's a state-of-the-art system that has 10 stations. We can have up to 20 students training simultaneously, learning how to program a PLC to drive actuators and, and to read sensors and the students get an opportunity to troubleshoot the sensors when they're not working or the actuators. They also get an opportunity to change the program and try to make the manufacturing system do something different. The graduates from my programs are really well suited for industry jobs from the, from the very beginning of their careers. Uh, we train them not just in theory, but actual hands-on application. Uh, we do the theory, which is required, but they also start learning some critical thinking skills. Um, when they're programming a robot or when they're analyzing a PLC, when they're looking at equipment, we're training them to see the big picture also. So uh, they're gonna be so well prepared for industry that their startup time when they're hired will be shortened down. And that's what it's all about, trying to shorten down the amount of time someone when they're hired by a corporation is trainable. And with our uh, equipment and our knowledge and our skill-based training, uh, this is gonna be through the roof for our students. The rest of the first floor is dedicated to aeronautical studies programs. With two hangar bays, a ramp, and a large multi-use lab space, the building is equipped to give students enrolled in the aircraft maintenance, avionics maintenance, and aircraft manufacturing programs hands-on experience with aircraft engines, parts, and electrical systems. We actually have two hangar bays. Each one is approximately 8,000 square feet, and they're two stories high, so they are very large. We have two 60-foot wide doors. We can bring all our aircraft into the hangars. Now, we have some small single-engine aircraft, but we also have some twin-engine, what we'd call business jet category aircraft. We also have some sections of a Boeing 787, in addition to the cockpit assembly of a Boeing 737. Now, those are not small pieces, so if you can imagine, the size of a full-size aircraft, and we have sections of those in our hangar, those are some very large hangar spaces. It also affords us the opportunity to get out of the weather, to do work inside, so we can do training uh, during the day during inclement weather or uh, at night. We now actually have a full-size, full-scale uh, Boeing 737 MAX cockpit uh, assembly setup, simulator if you will. So a student can sit down with an instructor and they can go through the startup procedures, the operational procedures of the systems on a large aircraft. Most schools do not have the room for a large transport category aircraft in their facility. This is a real game changer, not only for our avionics students, but also for our other aviation students as well. On the second floor, aircraft manufacturing students learn assembly and repair. The composites lab is outfitted with an autoclave, hot bonders, and downdraft tables. This is our autoclave, and this is very important in the manufacturing industry. They use this in the aviation industry, 
automotive, especially in wind turbines now, the boat industry to manufacture parts. What the autoclave does is it aids you in curing carbon fiber parts that are manufactured. So this thing will put pressure on the part and compact the carbon plies to make it a better product and it heats the part to 350 degrees to cure it up. This is your hot bonder, our Hecon hot bonder. It has two separate systems and we use this like a mini autoclave. So when we have a composite repair that we need to do on that's the skin of an aircraft, we can have our blanket. We will sand the area, we call it scarfing. We sand the area and we lay new composite material down. We take out our hot bonder and we can set it up using the buttons here. We have our thermocouples to monitor how hot this is gonna become and we can do a repair on the airplane or on any composite material without using an autoclave or taking an airplane out of commission. As long as you work with composites, you can use a hot bonder for repair. So whether it's automotive or aircraft, anything composite material, even a skateboard, you can use your hot bonder for repairs. Also on the second floor, the Flex Space Advanced Manufacturing Lab houses state-of-the-art equipment used in manufacturing, including basic and advanced CNC machines, metrology equipment, 3D printers, PLC automation and robotics trainers, and non-destructive inspection and testing equipment. This equipment that we have in the lab here is some uh, very nice CNC machining equipment. So it's computer numeric control machining equipment. And this particular machine behind me is a five axis Haas mill. Uh, it's a VF2 SS. And basically with this particular machine, you can do five axis machining, which means you can machine, if you had a block, let's say, you can machine five sides of that block without ever having to take it out of the machine. On an older, more traditional machine, you'd have to flip that block. You'd have to take it loose and flip it each time to machine all of the sides on the block. Where this, you can do five sides in one setup, basically. The machine tool students graduating out of their program have the knowledge and skill to be a productive member of any manufacturer's team. They have an innovative mindset to where they are proficient in their jobs and effective troubleshooters. In the CNC program, we start out with manual machining. So we, we learn how to make parts by hand on the machines. And then as we go down the road, we get into the CNC machines. And you can see we have uh, 10 other machines over here behind me, uh, five mills, five lathes that are just three axis mills and two axis lathes, just basic CNC machines. And that's where we start out with our programming and our CNC operations and setup and our master cam programming are those more basic machines. And then as they move through the program, if they want to take advanced classes and things like that, then they would come over and we would get on the five axis machines. We're going to do some advanced tool paths, um, surfacing operations, things like that in master cam that are a little higher level. The PLCs is a key piece of equipment we have in this building and we have both types. We have the Island Bradley and the Siemens, which both companies use in this area. And it is so key for our students to be able to learn to actually troubleshoot, program, and install those, because that is really the brains of any manufacturing operation today. Almost every industrial sector uh, in this area and across the globe now is using programmable logic controllers to control and analyze and change their equipment based on what inputs are to that PLC. So our students having that knowledge and that skill is going to be huge for their future economic themselves because now they're going to be highly employable and this is what the local economy needs is highly trained technicians. Nearly the entire third floor of the South Carolina Aeronautical Training Center is dedicated to training Boeing South Carolina employees through Ready SC, the workforce training division of the South Carolina Technical College System. The partnership between Ready SC, Trinity Technical College, and Boeing South Carolina is, is truly amazing. Our goal as Ready SC is to provide startup employees initial workforce development for companies that are coming into the area. Uh, Boeing was a little bit more of a challenge for us because of the technical nature of what they do. They're building the most advanced commercial airplane in the world. And it was a significant challenge for us to take that responsibility on 
uh, not only to train the employees, but to train our instructors to, to be able to support that. We deliver over 220 different courses of instruction for Boeing. Uh, it started out at about 40, and then we've continued to grow with the credibility and confidence that we've, that we've been able to build with Boeing. The Airframe and Power Plant License Program, Aeronautical Studies Program, Mechatronics, Robotics, and the program that we do up on the third floor all translate into high-quality, well-paying jobs with amazing opportunities for the residents of South Carolina. The South Carolina Aeronautical Training Center is strategically positioned to increase the pipeline of skilled workers, train the existing workforce, and partner with companies in manufacturing, aerospace, automotive, and other industries. There's so much going on here. It's a great opportunity for our students. It's an opportunity for our faculty. It's an opportunity for industry. This building has a multidisciplinary function where all the different uh, programs come together and they share ideas. And once you start sharing ideas, that promotes innovation and creativity. This building provides opportunity. Opportunity that did not exist before this building was built. Every once in a while I have to go up and look out over the balcony and see what is taking place right here in North Charleston and it's truly phenomenal. The South Carolina Aeronautical Training Center at Trident Technical College more than a building, it represents the future of economic development, advanced manufacturing, innovation, and opportunity in South Carolina and beyond.